shot of that um such a such a place to be when the weather's like this i kind of you know a, a part of me just wants to take my foot off the pedal completely and just be you know for a whole week just do nothing around this town because uh when the weather's like this well, where better to be yeah and um, this is great because it's the 29th um um, um the Touche legacy it's the the fourth festival of history it's, it's an association with the greystones archaeological and historical society it's fantastic to think there is such a rich kind of a um, um, kind of vein of, 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 of this respect for history and, and, and figuring out not only the town's history but obviously the country's history and and for you I'm just wondering where, when, when you started uh, did you have any kind of a notion where this would this would sort of sustain and this would grow and grow well you always start something and you never know when it's going to end up but I mean when we started back in the 80s uh, it was Jim Brennan late Jim Brennan and uh, the county librarian then the late Joe Hayes and we were having a chat and we said, you know, the Latouche family have a huge contribution. They've made a huge contribution to this area. Yeah. They've made a huge contribution to Ireland in general. And we said maybe we'd run a one-off conference to commemorate their contribution. So that's how we started with the Latouche legacy. And, I mean, we gave a huge amount of, of time. And that lasted on until, you know, three years ago we were we were still doing Latouche talks. <laughs> yeah. And there's only a certain, I mean, they were a very good family. And sure, very, sure. very notable and a huge contribution the area but yeah. I mean you do run out of, of, of teams on them so we have you addressed our homosexuality yet no, no we didn't discuss oh, well, that, that no, no, maybe in the future like it's, but it's I an think, anniversary uh. I think Paul it is addressed <laughs> in the book we published okay, there, there so you, you, know, you can look at that <laughs> but um, we then discussed a few years ago with the, with the Greystones Operatic or the Greystones um, Historical Archaeology, Archaeology yeah. and Historical Society with Rosemary Rockter yeah. and we came on board with the Festival of History and this is the fourth Festival of History and three years ago we, st we started concentrating on the Great War then yeah. moved on to the 1916s period and then last year we kind of had the team as emerging from 1916 course, yeah. so this year we're now focusing on the foundation or the creation of what they was well known now in, in history the creation of the free state right. but one of the things that has come home to me very much in the last couple of years when we're concentrating on history there was a lot of times when we were attending schools and universities that we didn't get a true picture of history from the kind of 1900s in, in Ireland. Right. You know, history kind of stopped after 1916. And a lot of us didn't understand the whole foundation of the state, the civil war, all these sort of things. And I think it's, as time moves on, and as, as the further away from that period we, we get to, it's easier to reflect on them and to see yeah. the good and the bad. I mean, and, and there is always good and the bad. So, um, we're here at this, uh, we're, we've changed the form a little this year, we're um, doing a launch on the 29th of May right. in the Grayson's Golf Club and we're doing then the two days in September as we usually do, not three days, two days this time. Well, do you know, first with the launch in the, in the Grayson's Golf Club on the 29th of May, you, you're very lucky you're having a, 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 a special guest who's going to talk on W.T. Cosgrave because you have a book there on him um, and you've got a, it, it is a, a, the man himself, a professor. It is Professor Michael Laffin, Laffin and yeah. anyone around this area yeah. here uh, will probably they've been attending UCD for the last 20, 30, 40 years uh, and doing political history or uh, history, uh, politics and history, mm. they would have probably been a pupil of Professor Michael Laffin right. because he has educated a huge amount of people. Himself and Ronan Fanning, who passed away last year, he was, he was, yeah. he was due to attend our conference last year but regrettably got ill. Yeah. And Michael actually at the time was going to substitute for him but he, he had a, a clash of dates. Right. So Michael is coming out to do the first lecture uh, and we're delighted to have him because, I mean, he is a very eminent uh, professor, is he? And he has written yeah. a very solid autobiography on W.T. Cosgrave. As I said at the start, like a lot of these people, people didn't know who W.T. Cosgrave is. They sure, might have sure. remember yeah. his son as Liam Cosgrave's teacher. But W.T. Cosgrave was, you know, for the first 10 years, the leader and the, the, the head of the government and leader of the opposition in the right. creation of this whole new state. So it'll be a very fascinating and interesting, I think, discussion by Michael Lappin on the 29th. Well there is that, you know, because uh, Ireland is, you know, it's a sort of, you know, there's that great mix of myth and, 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 and history and our troubles and, and, and I, I do believe that post-1916, because it's that, that, you know, the issues at the core of 1916 are still somewhat alive for a lot of people or have been for many decades, I think addressing it can be difficult because, you know, people are, are actually have certain flags that they have in their garden they feel well this is how I see the history and this is how I see it and that clash has always uh, kind of uh, been part of it I think that there's oh, well, that's, and, and, it's, and it's kind of very recent we forget yeah. that you know and, and people a lot of people now as time moves on there are not, uh, not the same numbers but a lot of people are still alive from that period sure. and of course we did have a civil war we did have bitterness between I suppose the old main rivals of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil yeah. and that 
know, has continued on. Now I think it is subsiding and I think that in the last 10 years we had, there's a breath of fresh air in the way we're dealing with subjects and yes. we deal honestly because I mean there wasn't all good and it wasn't all bad on the, show, yeah. on the, on the opposing sides or the, or the winning sides. I mean everyone everyone has their faults so I mean well, it right, is, the, the Beatles it, have great songs and the Stones have great songs. That's they're, right. all, they're both alright. Yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting as we move on to be able yeah. to look into this and the one thing is that is, 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 is we're fortunate in the Latouche legacy and working with the Archaeological Society here is that we've been able to get a huge array of very uh, high high people uh, in, highly in, regarded in, their, in this field yeah. in the in histor historical field and political commentators because yeah. just like we've always managed to blend uh, because we are dealing with a controversial part of the history like the creation of the free state um, we have uh, one of our guest speakers in, in, in this coming seminar is Dr. Martin Manser. Now yeah. Martin Manser was the special advisor to three Taoiseachs in this country, Charles Hockey, Albert Reynolds and Bertie Ahern. And I don't know whether a lot of people, and a former minister of the, of the, of the country, but he also was one of the probably very prominent people in the whole settlement of the North in the Anglo-Irish Agreement. He right. was the main uh, connection at that stage with the government and the provisional IRA and people like Jerry Adams and Martin McGuinness. And he's coming to the, our guest speaker at the dinner. And I think we do learn a lot from history because there, there's something about being in the moment that you know people forget there's always a certain degree of mistrust and confusion and, and, and certainly more than ever with the internet a belief in conspiracies of all sorts are going on that people behind the scenes are, are, are manipulating and history gives us a good grip on you know how we can be you know how politics is played out and how, how people can be blinded by certain circumstances and the hope is that we learn every time well I suppose moments. that's why we're lucky to get eminent historians coming down here because yeah. unfortunately with history sometimes history can be written by the winners oh, of course, and yes, you yes, may not yes. get a tr total true picture but I think yeah. when we have these people of, of academic quality that's coming to us this weekend and we'll get a reasonable contribution and, and as I say we have a mixture between the whole set of the free state and convention that took place in the foundation of the state, and we have uh, uh, an, a lecture on the, on the question of Dorothy McCardle, who is the one of the biographers of, of Eamon de Valera. So we have a whole array of history mixed in that weekend. It's right. not just dealing with one side or the other side. It's a mixture well, of the true reflection of what was taking place in the early 20s at the foundation of the state. So we will put all the links in now for obviously the 29th is the launch, 29th of May this month, and then 29th and 30th of September over the Greystone Club. Can I just actual. mention, Paul, that yeah. on the 29th, we, we normally, because it depends on the community and the, and the cost in running these, we have a nominal charge for the conference fees yeah. for the weekend and the dinner. But this 29th is free to everyone. We have no charge. Right. And we are selling discounted tickets for the seminar in September at the, at, the, at the launch. And we're delighted also that Anne Daly of Super Value this year has come on board. And we're not totally removing ourselves from the Latouche legacy yeah. connection because there's going to be a competition run in Greystones during July and August and September where there will be free tickets for the weekend sponsored by Anne Daly Great. and it'll be focused on questions of the exhibition of the Latouche exhibition in the library so there'll be some questions ah, nice. yeah, and yeah. you can answer them, hand them in and they might win a ticket or two. Oh, that's terrific and, and fair play, the Super Value now have been getting involved in quite a few, uh, that sort of community spirit where these things are important to you know you can you can sort of have a degree of of of, of uh, you know we're, we're very lucky to be alive here and now and it's a great time but but getting a little kind of you know understanding of where we came from is so i, I think important the way family is important that you uh, you belong and, and and also you learn a huge amount from just uh, just looking back a little bit and, and realizing there's a pattern to life here and there's there's certain things that that uh, i should you know and as I said, always, I've always said that the community here in Greystones are very welcome to attend all these lectures. We'd be delighted to see as many people from Greystones and, and Furderfield attending and coming here to Greystones for the Latouche uh, and Festival of History weekend. I do feel we should finish with a song, but I'm, I'm, it's a bit early for singing, isn't it really? <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> I'm a different George Jones. <laughs>